Hi guys, so um, we're gonna look at um, a great brand that we carry in store, um, which is Exposure. Uh, it's that time of year now where dark nights are coming in and you're gonna wanna think about um, going out into the forest, being able to see. Uh, if you want to get into night riding, definitely a brand to check out. Or if you're already into night riding and want some new lights, these are definitely the ones. Um, so quite a big range. So we'll go through it kind of one by one. Um, so they've got the helmet lights and the handlebar lights. So starting at the helmet lights, we've got three, three models here, which is the key range. So you're starting uh, with your joystick. So nice, real small light. Um, gives out 1100 lumens on its own. I probably wouldn't ride it as a solo light. Um, I would pair it with a handlebar light as well. Um, so nice and neat just to kind of spotlight um, on your helmet just to kind of pick out key areas that you want to look at. Um, all, the, all on all these lights as well. If you just flip them over onto the back, uh, they've got a nice little detailed uh, run time. So this one's got seven different modes you can run it in. Um, on its highest setting, it'll give an hour's run time and you can, uh, in its lowest setting, you can make it actually run 24 hours. So really impressive what you get from such a small little light. Um, going up the range, you'll go into probably what is Exposure's most popular and well-known light, uh, which is the Diablo. So this actually doubles in power uh, almost compared to what the joystick is. This goes up to 2000 lumens now. Um, this is probably enough to just kind of run on its own um, as just a helmet light. Uh, but if you want to pair it with a handlebar light, you know, you're going to be fully uh, lighting up the trail. So a good, a good one to definitely consider. Uh, all the lights as well, uh, no battery packs attached. This is how they come, you know, rechargeable, but this just literally clicks onto your helmet or onto your handlebars. Uh, and like I say, it can run up to 24 hours. Um, this one's got obviously the three uh, LEDs, so gonna have more of a wide beam pattern than what the joystick will. Um, so that's what you'll find as you go up the range. The more um, LEDs they have, the wider the range. So next uh, is a kind of a newish product from Exposure. Uh, it's the Zenith helmet light. This is what I ride with. Um, this is 2,200 lumens. And again, has got a wider beam pattern than the Diablo. Um, I actually only use this on its own. I don't have a handlebar light. I just have the helmet light, which I find absolutely fine. It gives it definitely enough uh, brightness to be seen. Um, or pair it with a handlebar one and it's just going to be the, the ultimate setup really. Um, a nice feature that most of the lights come with uh, is a sync uh, and a reflex um, option. Some of them come with it, some of them don't. Basically the reflex is where the light actually senses how fast you're riding and when you increase speed the light automatically brightens. Um, so it's almost like an automatic light, uh, really impressive. We'll move on to handlebar lights next. So we don't have the full range in store. We're missing the Max D, which is their biggest light. Um, but we've got the Toro and the, oh no, we do have the Max D, sorry. It's the six pack we don't have. Uh, so Toro and Max D here. Um, so the Toro, you're looking at 3,600 lumens. So a really powerful light. Um, really good to run with a helmet light as well. These basically just act as big floodlights um, on, the, on your handlebar really wide range, really piercing white light. And yeah, they go for miles. So super duper impressive. Uh, again, these will run um, an hour on max brightness. Uh, this is 3,600 or 24 hours uh, on its lowest setting. They all have an SOS feature as well, which is quite cool if you find yourself in trouble. And the brackets on these really nice machined kind of aluminium, um, just bolts on with an Allen key. Uh, and then they're just literally click in place, super sturdy. Uh, and then their top, top light that we have in store is the Max D. Um, this is putting out 4,600 lumens uh, and again has the sync feature and the reflex feature. So that's obviously when you get faster, it's going to bright up on its own. Um, yeah, that looks heavy. If you come in the shop and pick it up, it's not. Uh, it's actually really impressive how light these lights are. So they've done a really good job at making them super lightweight. Uh, and again, you know, on the nice machine bracket, pair that with a helmet light and you're going to be lighting up everything. So if you want to come in store and have a look at any of these lights, we'll show you how they all work. Um, and yeah, we'll turn them on in that room and yeah, pretty impressive.